Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Supply and Demand Hub, which is included with the Blitz uh, Report License. And it's a replacement, originally designed as a replacement for the MRP uh, Planner Workbench, but it could equally be used for ordinary users of inventory, order management, purchasing or works ordering um, as a much, much more comprehensive replacement to the item supply and demand. So I'll just walk you through some of the key features um, and I'll open up uh, the form. As you see, immediately you're presented with a very powerful um, search criteria form. And on here, you have the ability to also multi-select values. Uh, so it's, it's a, bit, a bit like building an among condition within the planner's workbench. Now, one of the ideas we had with the Enginatics development team was that we would like to potentially uh, port this across to ASCP, but we're just trying to gauge some interest. It's already there available for MRP users and straightforward uh, discrete uh, users. So if there's sufficient interest, we'll also port this across uh, as a planner workbench replacement for the advanced supply chain planning module. Um, so I'll start by just popping in a, a product here. And as I mentioned, if you wanted to multi-select, you'd, you'd tick here and then you'd build up um, using double click from the list of values. But I'm just going to show you what, what happens here. So at this level, we've got a, you know, you have the ability to explode your bill of materials. Uh, but in, in this particular case, we've only got one level anyway. And you can further search the this particular indented bomb uh, through here, through any of the, these criteria. And again, the, these are configurable report zones. Um, that in itself is a blitz report, as is uh, this one down here. So if there's anything there that you, you need, it's very simple to add. Either you can do it or, or we can help you show you how to do it. And on this page here, all of these tabs, you have the ability to run different reports. So you have the inventory items report, you've got the material transactions report, and all of these will just simply export across into Excel within a matter of seconds. It's, it's not like a forms export you get with uh, Oracle standard. This is something that, that really does uh, go quickly. So if you, if you multi-select, for example, and you then say, okay, I want to uh, run the inventory item report detail, and that will then give you all the item attributes uh, in a matter of seconds, uh, and there they are. And you get all the information about the product, whether it's uh, volume, what its weight is, what its lead times are, you know, whether it's ATPable, a, a buy, what its safety stock is, etc. So I'll just close that and we'll go back. Um, from here, we've got the, the ability to look at the supply and demand. So it, it goes a step further, obviously. It's got um, You've got all of the data you'd find in the standard uh, supply and demand or within the planner workbench, but you've also got double click. So you can drill down into any of these entities. So let's just uh, double click into the sales order if you want to drill in. You then get straight into the, into the sales order. And again, you can see um, how the actual sales order looks. Um, so you have this ability throughout um, you know, I show you, I show you one here, and also the pegging, which is very important to the planners, is is available here. So you can see um, that this particular uh, supply is pegged to this sales order. Um, there's exceptions here as well. Uh, for example, this order needs to be rescheduled in or rescheduled out. Uh, let's see if I can read it. That one's that one's in. That one's out. Uh, you have the ability now to uh, do it again, multi-select if you want, or you can just do one row, and then we can run it out into the pegging report. And this will give you, from a supply planner's viewpoint, all of the pegging information you would expect and need to help you get along in your, your daily planning activity. And you can see it's very fast. It's um, opening blitz within a matter of seconds. It's running it through the standard Oracle Concurrent Manager. So indeed, you can schedule these as well. Uh, which is a, which is a key feature because it's fully integrated uh, with the concurrent process and you can have them emailed or indeed you can just simply have them uh, print out. Here we have uh, the demand pegged quantity, the actual um, the, the original demand quantity, so uh, pegged one, two, three of, of 200 um, and over here shortfall. And then to the right, we've got um, a whole raft of information about uh, when the supply is due in, uh, when it's planned and you know you can you can also tailor these you know what the safety stock is what what is the on hand you've got cost information here what the frozen cost is 
etc. There's probably uh, <laughs> more information than you need, but you, the good thing about Blitz is you can actually uh, tailor the report using templates, very much like the folder technology, where you can just simply remove data or, you know, depending on which user is running it. And throughout, you have this uh, the capability to run uh, different reports. So, you, you know, it could be you want to see the material transactions that affect these. Uh, and then you would just simply report those out and then you have that straight into Excel uh, as you would with any of the other Blitz reports. Um, but the, it's speed really, and it's just the, the user-friendly uh, nature of the tool uh, that I thought it was worth sharing um, because it, it's included with the Blitz license. So, you know, it would be very useful if you, as a tool for all the planners, if you were, um, not only do you have the reporting functionality, but you also get this really, uh, helpful supply and demand hub. Um, let's just go across here and look at some further details. So we've got all the master data details configured here and you can flip uh, your organization as required. So very powerful. You can see which plans in use. You've got the safety stock here. You can include or disinclude uh, netable um, sub inventories. And then over to the right tab, we've got our forecast uh, and then we can run our forecast simply uh, just basically export in the same way you've got the the usual uh, ability to run that straight into blitz it goes through the, through the concurrent manager as i mentioned uh, and again a highly usable workbench uh, that's that's there to use now uh, for mlp users and and just straightforward discrete uh, users but obviously if uh, there's enough interest for the advanced planners then we'll get this ported across um, and, you know, migrated into that environment, just depending on how much interest. So if, if you want to contact me or if you'd like to find out more about uh, how this is configured uh, and further benefits and usability, then I'm more than happy to spend uh, an hour or so with you to walk you through, uh, you know, what's available here. And, and I'm pretty sure, you know, based on my planning experience and training, uh, advanced planning and MRP, that you'll find this uh, an invaluable tool uh, to use, which will certainly complement uh, your EBS and give you an optimized planner workbench for sure. Um, so, so that's it really for now. Like I said, if you want to find out more, just give me a, uh, or, or contact the Engelatics team, uh, arrange a demonstration, uh, and we'll take it to the next base with you. Thank you.